I'm a high street manager for a well-known bookmaker who I won't name. Okay. Um, and it's a, it was a relief when the announcement was made, but it was also quite scary. Um, I've been a betting shop manager for about nine years. Yes. I never gambled before I entered the, the business um, and very quickly found myself in a six-figure sum of debt um, within about five or six years. Um, I'm not even out of my 30s yet. Oh, mate. Um, I'm married with two kids. Now, listen, there's a lot of people that are going to be listening, James, and yeah. they're going to be saying, you know what? You know what you're doing. You're old enough, and I am. Well, um, I'm not one of those people because, for me, as you know, it's about the effort that's been put into putting you in this position versus the effort that has been put in to preventing it from happening. And that, and you might not like yes. that, but that makes me see you as a victim of a, of, a, of, a, of a, not a con, it's not quite the right word, but a grift. And, and you might not like that, but equally mm. it's, a, it's, it's a more charitable analysis than the one that just says you made your bed, you lie in it. You, you've got an addiction problem, mate. I have. I have. Um, I, this month, we, we get paid at the end of every month, last working day. Um, I got paid very handsomely. I worked 76 hours overtime last year, uh, last month. Oh, gosh, yes. I got, I got paid, I got paid about 2,300 yeah. by, on the Friday. By the Sunday, I was asking my mum, 74-year-old mum, to give me 30 quid to put petrol in the car. You'd stuck it all in these machines? It went on the Saturday um, stroke Sunday. And it's these machines that, that, that have got you in the clutches? It's not other forms of gambling? <laughs> No, no, the, I bet on the football weekly. Sure. The biggest bet I think I've ever put on on the football slip is £6. And that's fun, and we enjoy doing that. And then these things come along. It's like the difference between, I don't know, PCP and, 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 a, and a half a shandy, isn't it? It's, it's angel dust versus a gin and it tonic. Is. And, and, and you're, you're going to hear many... If you carry this on into the second hour, I don't know. You're going to hear many, many more stories, James. But I had a guy in just last night. He's 21 years old. He lost £3,000 in the space of 45 minutes. Um, well, when I when I started, if I can just make this final point, no, I'm sorry, mate. I know you're busy. Um, you take, I'm, I'm sighing with sympathy, not with impatience, <laughs> Peter. I promise you, no, we'll no, hold no, the no. news. All right, this is you know, you. You, you keep talking. Right. When when I first joined the industry, there was a maximum of four debit card transactions that customers were allowed per day. Yes. That was in the rule book. That is now gone. Um, and this guy in question, he lost three thousand pounds yesterday thanks to thirty one hundred pound debit card transactions. 30. Um, as well as about £500 cash uh, that he put in the machine. Um, he's 21, he's, he's in college. Um, I think it's parents' money. Um, yeah, what so that's can you all do? Them, I mean, your, your, your job is, is, is to, in a sense, lead as many people to, as you can into the hole that you're in. Yeah, we have to be shown to have a, a responsible discussion with him. We have a, a form that we have to process through the till to say, do you know what, we have spoken to him. Okay. Uh, he, he is comfortable with his with what he's spending, when, yeah. even though we know he's not. Um, but we have to be shown to do that so that the Gambling Commission can, it's just, can, it's, can be, yeah, it's just be shown that we're lip, ticking the boxes. Lip service. Does your wife know how much debt you're in? No, no. I won £3,000. I mean, there are upsides, obviously, when you win. Yeah. I won £3,000 about six months ago. I took it home. I gave it to her. Right. Um, she said, no, no, let's pay this, let's pay that. She mm -hmm. kept about 300 quid of it. Come the next week, it was all gone. She said, oh, let's buy ourselves a new car that we was looking at the other day. Yeah. Um, the, the 2007 was gone. Come payday, again, I thought, well, I, I've worked a lot of overtime. I can, I can get this back. Yeah. Went, went down to the showroom. Of course, between my house and the showroom, there was about 5,000 bookmakers. Yeah. Um, well, let's try and make another 1,000 so I can get a car two or three years newer. I went back, uh, all the excuses under the sun as usual. Yeah. No, no, they, they didn't have the car I wanted. Let's leave it. Let's wait oh. till till next payday. And, of course, the same thing happens uh, again. It is my fault, James. Well, it isn't, it isn't. No, it is it is and it isn't. Uh, the, the, are you going to get help? I mean, you're in a right old state, mate, because... Yes. You know, I mean, my it, wife doesn't know no. any, anywhere near the... You've got to she get knows some I like help. To play. But if you get help and you, you're working in one of these plays, I don't know what you... What are you going to do? Well, you're watching people play every single day. But James, I, I earn last year. I earned thirty-eight grand. Right now, it's it's not a king's ransom, but it's, it's, a, it's a good wage, mate. And I'm at the end of the day, I'm about twenty thousand pounds in debt, payday loans, and um, and credit cards, yeah. and I've got no savings, and I'm hitting thirty, and I earned thirty-eight grand last year, and 
when, when I sit down and work out my outgoes, yeah. apart from the, the credit cards, I've got nothing, James. We yeah. live a very, very modest life. We, we, we don't, we're extravagant. You know, we're, we're extremely low key. Um, and my except, wife has never questioned. For, except for this, this high roller habit that you've got at the filthier end of the, of the gambling market. You know that if you were my mate, Pete, I'd tell you that you've got to take a job that doesn't pay as much because you'd struggle to find 38 grand um, overnight. You'd take a job that doesn't pay as much and take yourself away from the temptation that's under your nose all day, every day, mate. Absolutely, and that is something that I will have to do because when the £2 maximum limit um, is in force, I can see my job. You could lose um, your job, and that's that's the other side of the coin. That's the other argument that the bookmaking industry has been making, that so many jobs depend. But you, you are the perfect case study of this you 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 you, you're you're probably giving more money to your betting shop than you're earning from it yes yeah i am um (laughs) but yeah i hope i hope i hope someone can maybe learn from from well they will i I, I appreciate your time well i appreciate yours and i wish you the very best and if i could give you a metaphorical clip around the old ear roll or something like that i would but i want you to know you keep mentioning your age Mate, when you, I'm 46, you're not even 30. It is not it, it, by any means over the sense you've got. You, you can literally sort yourself out and start again, even if it means a big debt range. I just want you to look after yourself and those little ones. 